We're live! Hello! Hi. I'm actually... I'm not crammed in the corner of my bedroom anymore. This is great. So, I am actually working comfortably on one of these streams for the first time in a very long time. Back in my studio space. It's very exciting. Alright, so I'm gonna start a new comic page. This is chapter 25, page 12. I already did the panel borders. Um, it's kind of a long, tedious process, and I've done it on the last couple of beginning to end pages that I've done on streams, so I decided to skip it this time. I also had to do a perspective grid. Did that ahead of time, too. I have my thumbnail right over here, which is just a bunch of incomprehensible squiggles at this point. And I have my script just off to the side as well, so that I know what I am doing. So in the first panel, I'm going to start off with putting in some speech bubbles to make sure I leave room for them for later. That one doesn't need to be very big, so... That's just like three words in that one, so it doesn't need to be very big. I feel like that's very glary. That's slightly better. All right. And so I'm just going to start by roughing in basically where some of this stuff goes. Got a big old backpack on. And I keep forgetting, too, until, like, later that Fel has these swords on his back. And they keep getting very in the way later on when I re finally remember to put them in. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. They're blocking somebody's face. So I'm going to draw them in now so that I don't block somebody else's face. Because that's bad. And I don't want to do that. All right, so that's the basic, that's about the level that I'm going to get each panel to at this first pass is just like basic blocked in shapes. I know there's a figure here in the foreground. I know there's a figure back here and some of the basic shapes of the stuff going on back there. I also feel like I'm not, my artwork is not in focus. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. That's going to take forever to pull up because it always does. We'll start blocking this in while I wait for my program to wake up. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix my focus issue. That better? That's better. That's looking much better. Much less blurry. Kind of a narrow cliffside path going on here.
So normally I do these streams um, on Tuesday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm doing it a little bit early today. Doing it this afternoon instead because I'm a guest on an online convention this week. And we're doing a live RPG session tonight and it starts at 8.30. <laughs> so... You know, I definitely wanted to participate, and so it was just like, well, I'll move my stuff around a little bit. Which is fine. Every once in a while, it's nice to kind of shake up the routine anyway. Hey, Gavin. It is. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to make it. It is early, yeah. I have stuff going on this evening, which I couldn't really move around or renegotiate. So I was like, well, I'll do an early stream. I mean, if this ends up working better for people, I can do early streams a lot more now because it's the summer. So my husband is home because he's a school teacher, so he has the summer off. Let's see. This, she's going to be right here. It's going to be here to here-ish. Um, yeah, my husband's a school teacher, so he has the summer off, so it actually makes it a lot easier for me to have my schedule be a little more flexible, because then he can watch the kids. Whereas previously, it was like everything had to be around when the kids were in bed. <laughs> I couldn't possibly do anything until the kids were in bed. change her pose there. I want her kind of leaning back nervously away from the edge. That's too tall. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's right. I do recall that. Yeah. Yes, 8 p.m. in the States is, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern in the States is uh, the middle of the night where you are, so... <laughs> characters very nervously crouching along the edge and then there's Drake who's gonna be like hey let's go, let's go look down this cliff that's cool never looked off a cliff like this before gonna do it now the two types of people <laughs> yeah, everyone else. Oh, I hope we don't fall off this cliff and die. <laughs> Drake, hey, I'm going to look down this cliff. <laughs> All right. And it's not, not shown enough of the forward movement that I want. There we go.
figure out how I want to fill in the rest of this background area here. What kind of shape I want to give everything to direct attention where I want it. Hmm, hmm. It's got some mitten hands going on here. I might need to do some reference for the exact pose of the fingers and everything for what she's trying to do. It's like there's like basic basic kind of hand gestures that you kind of learn by rote of like, you know, talking or like making fists or like pointing or holding holding certain objects in certain ways. Those ones usually learn by rote, but hands can do so many very complicated things. <laughs> and it's like, I want her to, she needs to be holding onto a, a prickly branch with one hand and freeing fabric from it with the other. Mm, I might need a reference image for that. <laughs> That's a little bit more, uh, specific than what I usually know by rote. And that is okay. I take hand gesture reference of myself all the time. There's very little dialogue on this particular page. I pretty much just have this first panel and the rest of it is all pantomime. So it's part of like a traveling montage. Of like things they're doing over their day of walking. One more panel to rough in. Oh yeah, and this, I can just kind of erase some of this. I just needed to get, I might redraw some of that, but it was just to make sure I got her head correctly shaped. Here I've got, like, could I have used a perspective grid in, like, this panel or this panel? I could have, but it wasn't super necessary for the way that those ones are framed. So, in this one, though, I wanted to make sure that... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving my camera. I hit the little cord. I need somewhere to tuck that. 
so that I don't run into it. Stop. Hold still. All right. Anyway. But for this one, since I'm going to have several figures and other objects from kind of like this almost isometric angle, I want to make sure that I have a pretty good solid grid to build that off of because the other ones, eh, you can get by with fudging it when it's just a couple of figures over uneven terrain right next to each other or something like this where it's more important that you get the drama of the like harsh cliff than making sure that all of this is super correct. Down here, it's going to look real wonky if I don't have a grid to base everything off of. rocks sticking out of the river. This rocky little stream bed here. Another kind of some shrubs. And some grass. And back here we're gonna have some great big rocks. as well as some shrubs and some more grasses. All right, now I need to get people in this space. <laughs> Her head needs to be a little bit more over her torso. Oh, oh no, it's not fun. I'm. You might be able to hear some music coming from my headphones. I'm. Oh no, which I hope you can't because <laughs> I might get in trouble if you can. I might have to turn that down. Uh, I'm listening to Longest Johns actually, but I'm going to turn that down late a little bit because. I don't want to get in trouble for streaming copyrighted music, which I was not attempting to do. <laughs> I do also love Fawn, but <laughs> they're pretty great too. She can't quite reach that other rock, so I'm going to move it <laughs> so that she can. And let's see. I need... Drake once again off doing his own thing, whether or not it makes any sense for him to be doing it.
it's kind of like, hmm, how do I get all the way out on this rock? I don't know. This is where I'm going to be now, though. You might well also be able to hear the birds outside. Scoot her back a little bit because I want this to look like more of a reach. And then kind of flailing her way across the river. Oh, that's a very large spider crawling over there. Okay, cool. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to stick that landing. Kapow. Okay, so I've got everything roughed in. That took about 25 minutes. So now I know where all of my various elements are going to go. I'm going to sharpen my pencil. And now I can start refining this and getting it more like the final version of the pencils. So kind of adding some more details very lightly that I didn't the first time around.
All right. Exasperated look. What's going on here? Or exasperated looking film. Big sigh. scarf going over his shoulder. Yeah, so the um, event that I'm doing tonight is the Convention of Heroes. It's an online convention that's going on all week, basically, and the events are at it's like I want to say it's like five, it's like five o'clock, six o'clock, something like that. Seven, eight thirty. There's a lot every night this week. So I have a 5 p.m. There's like author readings. So this is for like people who are superhero writers that could do superhero novels as the primary focus. Um, and so you have like authors doing live readings or pre-recorded readings of their books, which is pretty cool. And you've got panels and then like special, special events as well every evening. So tonight I'm on a panel at 5 p.m. Eastern. And that's about creating RPGs. So obviously we'll be focusing on superhero RPGs, but we'll just be talking about like RPGs in general, because that's another big part of my work is working with tabletop gaming companies. And even though I mostly do illustration, I also do a lot of, um, I've done some writing, like some adventure writing, and I do a lot of like playtest and development for the different companies that I also illustrate for, because I'm also just a gamer nerd myself, so...
which is how I got into doing that sort of work. What is going on with that line? Got to pick which line that's going to be. So we'll be doing that at five o'clock tonight and then at 8.30 Eastern, I'll be in a live streamed um, RPG session run by Alan Barr of Gallant Night Games of his game Tiny Supers. It has been a long time since I've played Tiny Supers. It's a super fun game. It's a very like a very easy and intuitive role system, which is a lot of fun and makes it ideal for live plays. Especially ones where it's like you're not necessarily sure if everybody knows all the rules or everybody's very familiar. It's totally fine. Everybody can be on board really quickly. So that'll be fun. And then I think I'm not on a panel again until like Friday, but they have them every other day this week. So there's panels about like how to build your own world and like different ways to incorporate powers and just all sorts of really cool stuff. Drake's little face there. I need a different eraser. Where is... Uh -huh. This eraser can get into tinier spaces than the one that's attached to my pencil. Oh, I can't even tell you how great it is to not be scrunched over my computer desk having to do this. Rest of the rock that he's standing on there. Shrub back here. Shrub. Other rock. We'll do some scrubby trees.
most of that is going to end up covered up by the word balloons, but I want to at least know where this stuff is going to be. Because I'm not sure exactly how big those word balloons are going to be, so there might be parts that you're still going to see. There we go. Yay, art stream! Hey, it's it says Jordan, but it's actually Ben. Hi, Ben. <laughs> You're confusing me. <laughs> You're making me confused. Not actually Jordan, but Ben. But I'm happy to have you anyway. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm doing my art stream this afternoon because I actually have to be... Um, on a live game stream at 8.30 tonight, which is normally when I'm in the middle of my art stream. So rather than doing the art stream like immediately before the game, only a little bit early, and then being all harried and everything, I was like, I'll just do it this afternoon so that I'm not rushing around feeling stressed out. That makes sense. I kind of figured that was probably the situation. What's going on there? What is happening with that shape? That's a very tiny space. I'm going to use my tiny, my tiny eraser so I can get in there better. All right. All these itsy bitsy details on these rather small figures. Clean up some of that underdrawing. There we go. Swords, swords. Still haven't found that darn carbon monoxide detector that we took down because this building is no longer heated with anything that produces carbon monoxide. Like, there's nothing in the building that produces carbon mon monoxide anymore. Um, you know, there's no, there's no stove. There's no, there's no nothing that would create carbon monoxide anymore. There used to be, but there isn't now. Well, my husband took it down. Like, it was one of the ones he plug into the wall. He took it down out of the plug and then just like shoved it somewhere in like piles of junk in the storage area in, of this building. But he did not realize it had a backup battery. And so the, the backup battery is dying and this thing keeps chirping. 
but we can't find it. <laughs> so it just like keeps randomly chirping all the time. I gotta make an effort to find it this afternoon because it's making me nuts. I don't appreciate this. Don't appreciate that thing constantly squawking while I'm trying to stream or record or everything. Or just in general. I think like in general I can ignore it when I'm just out here working, but when I'm trying to record or stream it is it is very distracting. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, I know people can hear it. Alright, there's Phil in the lead. Yeah, it's very it's very disturbing. I'm I'm not a fan. Gotta get everybody's little accoutrement whenever you draw them. Especially when they're actually on the road. It's like everybody has at least one bag. Wen has two bags. She's got the heart of Nora, which is always like hanging out there. Make sure you include everybody's stuff. Let me use some of that. All right. There's. Oh no! I need to do her arm. Ha 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 ha! Not done with her yet. Might be good to do. Might be good to let her have two arms. Now we have Drake. I'm going to sharpen my pencil real quick because with these fine, fine little details, it's getting a little bit dull for that.
and bushy tail. Various little rocks and pebbles along the edge there. Kamari is very much doing the hugging the wall routine, not digging this. Not a lot of detail in some of this stuff, but you just want to be able to see that, like, her fingers are way splayed out as she's, like, gripping the side of the wall. <laughs> like, oh, no. All right, and we're in the last 10 minutes of the stream. So I will just remind anybody who tuned in late, I'm Amanda Call. This is a page from my webcomic, Age of Night, which you can find online for free at ageofnight.com. That's A-G-E-O-F-N-I-G-H-T dot com. I update every Wednesday. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me and get all your comics a week early. And that's patreon.com slash age of night. There's the edge of that. There we go. You can also buy um, PDF copies of the of the books. I have the first 21 chapters collected into three volumes. You can buy those online, um, a PDF version at Skirmisher's website at skirmisher.com. Uh, they also have them in any of their one bookshelf web stores on Drive-Thru RPG, Drive-Thru Comics, and Drive-Thru Fiction. You can buy... Um, ebook versions so that's like a oh, what is it like an epub file or whatever i forget or a moby that's what it is a moby file on um you know you know the website the one that lex luther runs you can get physical versions there as well as epub versions um and Where else? I think that's it for that. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Age of Night. You can follow, find me on Instagram at Amanda Call Art. And I actually have an event happening, which is this week, tonight at five o'clock. I will be uh, found online at the Convention of Heroes. This is done through Superhero Fiction the website, Superhero Fiction. Um, they're doing panels and other fun events and author readings all week in the evenings on their Discord server and on YouTube.
So tonight at 5, I will be on a panel about creating RPGs, and then at 8.30, I'll be playing a live game of Tiny Supers, GM'd by Alan Barr. Uh, the other players are... We've got Diana from Powered by the Players and Christmas Tide Ohio. We've got Rob Lagian of Pawn's Perspective and uh, Dan Heinrich, who is um, one of the, <laughs> the the spouse of one of the convention organizers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. I don't know what you do outside of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm poor, pre poorly prepared to talk about my fellow players, I guess. That'll all be happening tonight. I'm excited for that. But if you're into superhero stuff, then you should definitely check out the rest of the events going on this week. They've got a lot of really good panels and events scheduled for online, and you can just watch them from wherever you are. No traveling, putting on pants, anything like that. <sighs> Broke my tip. Uh, what is going on with Wen's face here? What is happening? What is happening is I broke the tip of my pencil and I'm getting a weird mark. There we go. That's better. It's not making the marks I expect it to, which is very distracting. Oh, and also, I normally do these streams at 8.30 p.m., or at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern every Tuesday, but uh, this afternoon, because I have that commitment at 8.30, I am doing it early. Um, but it's the summertime, so if earlier streams work better for people, I could make that happen. Like, let me know. Comment and let me know. If afternoon, if mid-afternoon streams better fit your schedule than evening streams. Since we're past the end of the school year for right now, I don't have to have my entire life rotate around when my kids go to bed. I've got a little bit more freedom right now. And if you haven't previously, you should definitely subscribe so that if I do end up switching up when the live streams happens, happen, you will be notified and you can catch more of them. What's happening there? All right, we're in the last couple of minutes here. I'm gonna finish this arm and then I think that's gonna do it. All right, I think that's it for today. So I started out, I had my panel borders and my perspective grid to start, and then I roughed everything in, and now I have two panels completely penciled, one panel with a good start to it, three panels left to do next time. Thanks, everybody, for coming and hanging out with me, and I will see you all next time. Bye.